going on everybody welcome back to the vlog this one is going to be very exciting we are doing a brand new technique with a brand new material we are doing a porcelain patio here and we're doing it on a kind of a modified wet set base that stays permeable more details on that coming up so make sure you hit subscribe stay tuned We have our uh, porcelain material here. This is Dow Tile Exteriors. You've probably heard of Dow Tile before with interior porcelain and other types of tile, but this is their exterior series. Check it out, 2CM baby. Don't call it three quarter, but for reference, it's pretty much exactly three quarters of an inch. This right here is the Diplomacy series and it's freaking awesome. I don't know, uh, how's it translating in the video there, Steve? Beautiful? Beautiful. It's got an awesome texture to it, so uh, you might be familiar with uh, interior porcelain being very smooth and slick. This is obviously for outside, so it has a really nice texture. It's not gonna be slippery. So I'm really excited about this. We are gonna cut this into six inch strips, and this is gonna act as our border for the interior field paper. Check this out. We've got right here, their Lanesboro series. This is a bluestone inspired series. So it's gonna look almost exactly like a PA natural field stone. This right here is going to be our field paver. Uh, we have a 12 by 24 and a 24 by 24. This is going to look almost identical to a PA full color bluestone. Uh, the design is meant to mimic that almost exactly and it looks really close. So really great variation in colors and patterns. Uh, can't wait to get this installed, but uh, it's everything so new, everything so new. We've never used this material. We've never used this setting bed. Uh, I'm excited, a little scared, but mostly excited. Getting started on our base here. We've got our screed poles down. We wanted to make sure our base was really, really close to being perfect because we're using a brand new system here. We're using the Romex Trash Bedding System. So this is an aggregate mixed with a binder. It's basically gonna create a cement setting bed for our pavers that stays porous. We're gonna mix it up, we're gonna pour as we go, and then we'll set and uh, see how it works. forms like a meatball without doing anything. It's not like, it's not overly crumbly, it's overly dry and it's not dripping. Since this is our first installation with this Romex system, we've got Henry down here from Connecticut. Drove just about three hours to come be here with us today. We do appreciate it because uh, if it doesn't work, we can blame Henry and we will not take any fault. <laughs> So for this system, we've got a clean aggregate here, quarter inch to eighth inch aggregate. And then we have bags of a uh, binder. So this is all gonna get mixed together. It's four bags of the aggregate to one full bag of this binder. We've got a little bit of a smaller mixer. So we are doing two bags of aggregate to a half bag of binder. This is what we got. That was totally my fault, yeah. <laughs> well, the thing with this decorator's mineral-based composite power wash is very, oh, it's super it? durable, super strong, non-porous, mineral-based composite. Oh, really? So, it's still best to keep it clean, though. So I'll just haphazardly slap it all over the place. I'll Mind me with the it. <laughs> Yeah. You want it looking like Rice Krispies. 
because this is going to be a treat. Oh, yeah, he's on it today. He's on it. Oh, yeah. First piece going down. We have some of our trash setting bed done. So we're ready to start wet setting this. We've got a different uh, thin set. What is this one called? This is the uh, Trosolutrian. Trosolutri. So we're going to back butter it just like this. Quarter inch uh, notch trowel. Correct. Quarter inch notch trowel. Now we set. That's it? That's it. All right, next piece. Beautiful. Oh, it's already ready. walkway portion pretty much wrapped up it looks freaking awesome now what we're doing is we're cutting our big slabs of porcelain these are out of a 20 by 40 piece so we're just cutting six inch strips for our border and uh, we're cutting them on the IQ saw it's working out really well and uh, we're just taking a uh, little bit of a finishing stone and we're just scraping the edges to uh, smooth it out a little bit very very minimal chipping working really good so uh, we're getting these set Turning out pretty nice. Well, Henry, thank you for helping us with the stone bedding. Thanks for having me today. <laughs> Henry hooked us up, and uh, I think we're. I, do you think we're qualified to uh, continue this tomorrow without yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, you guys are in great shape. Though. Okay. What time will you be back tomorrow, though? By 7 a.m.? 7 a.m., yeah. Perfect. A little okay. earlier leave, yeah. <laughs> 4 a.m. alarm clock. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> I think we got it We got it uh, figured out pretty good. Glad Henry was able to come down and help us out uh, with our first little run of installation here. Uh, we got a pretty good system, so tomorrow we are going to jump right out of the gate and screed the rest of this, lay our field pavers, and uh, I think we should have everything laid tomorrow. And then of course, as always, we got a special little design treat for you. More on that later. Thanks Henry, you're the man. Thank you. Mark in the park. Well, we are barking in our own park here. Day two. Day two of our porcelain patio install. We have, uh, we've got a, a, a full fledged system going on here. Uh, we have Tom mixing up our trash bed. Uh, we're gonna get that screeded out. We have Ant, he is going to be back buttering our porcelain and uh, I guess me and Catherine are going to be laying this uh, the slabs, right? All right, cool. So uh, we have this section done from yesterday. Now we are going to work this way, screeding out this trash bed and we are going to start laying right in this corner so that as always, we can minimize any cuts that we need to make. So once we get to here with our trash bed, we're gonna start laying, work back this way, then go this way, follow, uh, follow them as they screen. Excited? I'm excited. Got our border completed up to here. Now we're starting with our bigger pattern. We've got a uh, big square, two rectangles. That's what we have to follow. So uh, let's hope we don't get confused. Some of these are pretty big too. So uh, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be exciting.
have off the top of your head? Would you like me to? Yeah. Catherine, I need that piece. Stop being such a trash hole. Uh, I was gonna say, ooh, somebody's trashy. <laughs> I guess that's the that doesn't work. match. That doesn't work. Trassy? Like sassy? Oh, uh, so you gotta say someone's feeling trashy. Someone's oh, somebody's feeling trashy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take this. <laughs> Tom's been trying to get me really hard. It'll happen. I got Tom again yesterday. Here's his face. <laughs> I'm ungettable. Ant thinks I'm super tough because nobody can scare me. <laughs> Except for Ant, just <laughs> he's gonna scare me right now. Other than that though. Really? <laughs> I chained it up. Alright, well, we got all of our porcelain pavers down. Look at this. Pretty sick. <laughs> we have all of the Daltile porcelain down. 2cm. Don't call it three quarter. Dear God, do not call it three quarter. Uh, installation went fairly smooth. It's a little bit different, obviously, than setting a traditional paver patio with this Romex system, but really liked how it went together. Definitely takes a little bit more time, but we started to get in the swing of it, and uh, and now it's done. We don't have to like go back and level anything because you make sure that everything is really sitting nice as you go. The only thing that we are gonna do here, pull off of the center, where our fire pit's gonna be. We're gonna cut in a circular inlay. Then we are going to take this border piece, black. We're gonna smash it, and we're gonna do a mosaic six inch inlay around this fire pit area. It's gonna be freaking sick, but we gotta wait for this to set up so we can cut into it, break it out, put the new stuff in. You're gonna have to wait for the next vlog for that, so make sure you hit subscribe, stay tuned, and until next time, this has been Premier Outdoor Living.